Hello everybody and welcome to Mercury 80. Um, this is going to be the new area today and this is just uh, in the area we would call Moon Moth North. Um, it's quite dark, it is quite dark and I'm realising that to film in there it's going to have to be morning time or I'm going to have to take a lot of flashlight with me. There is a small segment of video in this, we'll analyse it and look at it. And I think this is the people showing us that they are still here. And then if we just care to look for a split second, we'll see them. And it's just a case of uh, the way they present themselves. And it's not just the people. There are elementals, I believe, in here as well. But see what you think. Come along for the ride. See what you think. So welcome to my kitchen. And what you're looking at is the reflection in my splashback in front of you. You can see just how clear that glass is and just how clear that bottle is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the glass so the reflection is in the area to the right. And this area to the right here is covered in olive oil. So if I move that there, certainly move that I'll try not to get the bottle in the picture. There we go. How clear is that? It's not really very clear, is it? And neither is that. Doesn't matter how you look at it, it's not very clear. In fact, re reasonably blurred. So we've now moved them back to the area where there is no olive oil smeared on there. And look how clear that is now. When you look at the quality and the clarity in there, you can see that very, very clearly. I'll try and zoom in on it for you. Look at that, crystal clear. The glass, crystal clear. So we're back to the other area. Does that look clear to you? How clear is that? Doesn't look very clear to me. What about the glass? Does the glass look clear to you? Doesn't look very clear to me either. So all I'm trying to show you between the, the two different things is, in the forest, we are seeing imagery that should be crystal clear on a 4K camera. And then suddenly you get an area which is blurred. So it's between the camera, where I am, and whatever that view is in front something has been placed and we've just shown it by putting a little bit of olive oil smearing that on the glass there's something in there which prevents the camera from focusing on the background because there's something in the front something is preventing it from being crystal clear and this is just my thought are these areas of energy that we are seeing or are they something that is dropped in to the video as we're filming. I don't actually see these with my eyes. I see it crystal clear when I'm looking at it. But when I go to view the film afterwards, some parts crystal clear and then other parts you get this massive blurring. It's not a fault with the camera. It doesn't do it in every forest. Some forests just don't have that. Um, 
it's just very strange. And so this was just a thought that I was having regarding this. And I wonder what you think. If these areas of energy, are they placed there? Are they already there? Um, or is it something that, which is what I believe it is, it's something that a digital camera can really pick up on. Um, digital video cameras can really pick up on because of the detail. They're constantly trying to autofocus. And if there's something between the camera lens and whatever the object is that you're focusing on in the different in the distance, my guess is that that's what it's picking up. See what you think. We've got this just hanging around, hanging about. <laughs> So what they're saying to me is this has not been purposed yet. So is it just a gathering of sticks? It's in preparation for... So they must be going to use it for something. Isn't that just the most gorgeous verdant green? Tiny little leaves. Doesn't that look amazing? That's your fungi. It's just so bright. So we have another collection here. Now we have seen this shape before. So these leaners, there's two there. See a lot of pairing of sticks because it doubles the energy. <laughs> Two sticks again, two limbs together. I've been told that that doubles the energy. And we're coming back to where we were. I find that fascinating. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? All that interesting, almost like feather work, isn't it? It looks like feathers. And then this here. Hmm. Right, I just want to show you several short clips. So I'll just give you a quick, this is my editing screen. This is our, how I make the videos. We've got the uh, strip down here, which we use. Um, and then the viewing place up here. Um, within this, we can use low resolution or high, res high resolution. To edit, I always use low resolution. Low resolution is like a, uh, a TV screen 20 years ago. High resolution is, as you say, it's got more pixels, more detail. So this is just in the new area of the forest that we're looking at. So if I put this on to full screen, and we'll start off. It doesn't. It's not very clear. It's in low resolution. The camera's moving. If the camera's on a perfect still thing, everything is crystal clear. But what I'm trying to show you is areas of oddness. This, for example, full face there. Can you see that? It's an eye. Another eye. You can faintly see the mouth. Then we've got this dark full face here, another one up there, I mean there's a much, much larger one here. Head thrown back, then we go across here, it's fainter up there but it's quite clear there's 
so much energy, so much imagery being shown to us. So what did I want to show you? And also, look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a spiral going here. Circular and a tunnel, and then there's a big happy smiley face there. No idea why. What's this one here in the middle? Have a good look there. Um, a bigger face there. You can see the two eyes there. Another one here. Don't ask me for explanation. I'm only showing you this. I've got no explanation. Discoloration there. All right, let's go back to the small screen. And I'm just going to start moving this across. And it's just a few seconds. And the area you're going to look at, if you can see my pointer, is up here. This is the area that you're investigating. See how clearer this is on the smaller screen. You get all the imagery. Here we go. Moving it forward over the next few split seconds. We're less than a second. Still less than a second. Still less than a second. See that? This is only a tree, but why does that appear in a tree? Can you see that? Let's look on the big screen. So don't forget, if you want to screenshot, feel free to screenshot. There we go. More there. Moving it forward. Oh! Hello. What's going on there? It's just a tree trunk, isn't it? It's just a stump of a tree. That's what you're saying. It's just a stump of a tree. In love, I agree. It is just a stump of a tree. But there's all sorts of imagery going on in there. Let's look at it again on the small screen. And I'm going to toggle backwards and forwards. That's as it's appearing. Now those of you who wish to screenshot, screenshot it. Screenshot now. There we go. And again. Closely. And this one. I know that's a man at the back standing there with his big bowy face and his beard. He presents himself with a straight short beard, a beard about four inches long in a straight beard as it were. He's bald. That's how he presents himself. Let's look at these teeth, nose, eye, eye. And then a face superimposed completely differently. This way on. Eye, eye, nose. It's between us and that stick. That bit of tree, that limb. It's between us both. But the image is presented as if it's on there. Now the facial image of a back has become quite blurred on the big screen. It looks better from a distance. Getting all sorts of imagery there. Getting like a silhouette effect there. Okay. So as you're doing this, when you're doing the editing, you catch all sorts of weirdness. You know you've seen something with your eye and it, you look there, there's nothing because it is split second. So we can make a note of this time, it's 15 minutes, 8 seconds, and 5 hundredth of a second. So what we're going to be looking at is this area of the screen here. And I've been moving the camera quite quickly. Let's just go. I'm moving it forward now, moving it forward. 
see this. Split, split seconds, really it is split seconds. See this? Let's do this again. I'm going to do it in low res first. Go back to where we were. Now we're going to move forward. Keep your eye on that mushroom shape. Pull on, watch it. Pull on. Right in front of us. So I'm going to try it in the high resolution. It looks like there's more than one, but just look at this shape here. You can see what you think it is yourself. I'm going to go back now, do it all in reverse. Moving back, moving back, moving back. Oh. Just thought I'd show you that. So just prior to that last clip, because we're moving back now, we're doing it all in reverse. I'm going to move this pointer back and you're going to keep your eye back in the same area. Tell me what you think. And moving back slowly, slowly, slowly. Are we being watched? Go back again. Think we were being watched? Do you? I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to sit here. And I just want a quick look at this because it's just a very small area. And what we're going to do is we'll look at it on the big screen, full screen. And there's unusual shadowing in here. First of all, dead centre. Dead centre. Face has been superimposed here. And then we've got another one here. It's unusual shadowing as well. We've got dark lines coming up here. We've got other faces in gullies. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. It's just odd, but that looks to me like it's way in the distance, but some it almost looks like a figure. Then we've got this here, a face sideways here. It's it's just odd. It's just peculiar. Thought you'd like to see that. There's this here as well. Look how that glows. That is glowing. Eye and eye nose. That is just branch. I can't see what the mouth is looking like. It's just odd. Here. Look at that. We just want to move on to this little piece here. And this is in high res. Should be crystal clear. Look at the amount of blurring on that. I'm going to take this and look at this here. So we've got some kind of, I don't know what that is, horizontals across here, something going on up there, that looks like a tree peeper there, that's just odd. So let's go back and look at it, if 
We'll look at it in the lower resolution. This, all of this. Now feel free to screenshot this and zoom in on them. This area up here, we have a face going on up there. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Top of the tree. And then we've got this at ground level, emanating from this tree. Then there's these large circular images here. Just thought you'd like to see it. First of all, we've got some kind of face up on there, certainly something going on there. But it's literally just very brief. It's just a split, split second, and it is less than a second. I mean, these are in 0.7 of a second. So it's ridiculously short. But this peeping from behind the tree, is what looks like grey hair, certainly light coloured hair up here. You can see the eye, and the nose, and the mouth. Must be just using that tree for the energy. That I understand that face there is our lovely friend of Damien. You can see how close we are to each other. And then there's some, another imagery there. I don't know who that is. Um, I think that could be Davigeo. It could be Davigeo's face. This is the way he presents himself. But you can just see on there. Uh, I think we'll lose it on the big image, but we will have a look. It's slightly lost. It's incredibly faint. Incredibly faint. So there we are. In this area, we're going to concentrate on these two lemurs and this area here, producing enough energy to show us somebody's face, but also keep an eye on the background. So I'm just going to manually move this forward. See this here? Can we have a look? can hardly see it but there you can hardly see it on the big on a big image but we'll go back to the smaller image and it's quite clear you can see a face showing now I'm going to forward this a little bit further keep your eye on this area Moving it forward, moving it forward, less definition, but the imagery is moving with the, with the way the camera moves, but it's still attaching itself to this tree. And then we've got large imagery here. This is about them using energy, and they're always talking to us about energy, but we don't pay enough attention to energy. So you can clearly see that face there is moving with the tree. Now, those of you who want to do a screenshot, if you do a screenshot of this and turn it upside down, that'll be the top of someone's head, their eyes, these are their eyebrows, the bottom of their nose, and their mouth there. I'm not going to do that for you. You do that, but you'll see that that image is a head that is upside down. How does that work, you say? Don't ask me. I say. In amongst all of that is a much bigger image here. So we'll move forward a little bit, see what else happens with that. Getting more definition to something going on up there. Oh. 
I mean, this is a 4K camera. It should be crystal clear that something creates this energy. So if I just ask you to look at that. There's a tree. It's in the distance. But this is between us and the tree. There's something here. Something there. And look at that. So let's focus on this bit here. Here. Could be sideburns, I don't know. Side of your jaw, top of your cheek, eye, eye, mouth. And you can actually see the, the teeth within the mouth. Looks like it's balding. Longish hair. Let's have a closer study of this. Certainly faces. I don't know what that is. That's a large face there, small bits going on there. And we're going to keep our eyes focused on this tree, because immediately now, can you see this face? Check it out. Let's have a look. We're on the full screen. Check out that face. Can you see it? All of this is colour of a kind, greeny there, brown floor. Don't know why blues turn up, because there's nothing blue in the forest. But then you look at this grey blue image. So is this an orb that we can't see because it's daytime? Is this their way and it's in front of the tree and we've caught it? We've got this yellowy orange here. Let's go back to the small image. Now look at that. Clearly, clear as day, face looking at you out of that tree. I don't think it's out of the tree. I think it's between me and the tree. So if it was there-ish, be about two or three meters away from the tree. I'm just guessing on that. I've got no evidence to say that, but it does look peculiar. We're going to move this very slowly and scroll through this and check out the way the face moves, how it changes. I'm getting this blurring. It almost looks like a tripod in the background. We've come to that face again. Can you see it? The sort of downward cast eyes at the side. Quick peep again at the big picture. Definitely there. Let me try and explain how I see it. You may see it differently. But my view of that is an eye, an eye. You can even see the eyebrow. Nose, mouth. And more blurring, more facial imagery on this side. And I'm not sure what that is up there. That looks like a gathering of people up there. Back to the small image. This is over a space of seven seconds. This whole strip across the bottom here is about seven seconds long. So the face changed completely, it's almost gone. I don't know what that is up there. I'm going to move forward. Is that face going to come back into view? There we go, crystal clear again, crystal clear. And another one up beside it here. So that one has become crystal clear. So I think this is how the people show themselves to us, to let us know that they are still here in the forest. Look how clear that is now. Still got nonsense going on there. Let's have a look at it clearly, more clearly. Here, don't know what that is. There we go. And this, I just find this odd. There are things that appear to be here that we don't see with our eye. OK, 
Okay, let's go back. I'm going to scroll forward again. Face is still clear. Center of screen still clear. Keep going. It's starting to change. I'm getting dark shadows here. What do you think those dark shadows are? Have a look. Screenshot it. If you want to, screenshot it and see what you think. Something going on there. But what is this here? This is what I am interested in seeing. What is that there? Going back. We're just going back over that. So sunlight is over there, well, daylight is over there, okay? So everything on this side that we're looking at should be in shadow, which it more or less is. So we have something here which is going to be reflected. I'm going to move it forward, see if we can catch it. Starting to show now. See that little mark there? It's reflected. So we'll move forward. Slowly. Slowly, did it? Slowly, did it? There we got it. There. Seems to be coming out the side of the tree. Do you know what that is? Let me know. Moving forward. Now we appear to have unusual shadowing going on here really unusual why is this just like a wash it's as if someone has thrown liquid all over it and this here unusual shadowing i don't know and that face is massive that face on the side of the tree is massive now. Do you know what this shadowing here is going on over there? So I'm keeping my eye on this area here. Our large face is about to disappear from that screen. Let's just click back. see a smile going through it. How does that happen? How does that work? I don't know. Don't ask me. Now, whatever it was that was shining to the right of this tree, it looked like, sorry, to the left of this tree, it looked like it was coming out the side of this tree now appears to be here. Let's have a look. Look how blurred everything is. There's no distinction in colour. It just looks like a wash. You can see little faces all over the spot. And this continual shadow, like someone is standing there. And then we get this very dark object here. Almost, I don't know what it is. Do not know. So let's go back and see if we can gently pull this forward a touch. <laughs> it's in the middle. Is this a tree peeper? A leader of a tree peeper? Let's have a look. What does that look like to you? It's very you know, it's eyes, one there and one there. If it is, have I missed it? Without, how did I miss something like that? Uh, I don't know. What is this object here? And here. Let's 
well, it kind of looks like a large female might be sitting there. It really shines out, doesn't it? See that? It's bright. Slowly, forward again. Just odd. See if it looks any better on here. Yeah. It's up to you folks. You see what you think you see there. It's just not very clear. Is this because of the energy that's being produced? Makes this very blurry. I'm just scrolling through as fast as I can. So let me just click onto that. I'm going to leave that like that in its place. We're going to have a look at this. Let's go to the big screen. And now we have something which appears to be an oblong square. Sort of chin, bottom half of the face. But our friend, whoever our friend is, is behind the tree. We can no longer see them. They've gone. I don't think they're physically sitting there. I think this is a placement of their image. So I'm just going to keep coming forward here. Now, is our friend back there? It's not very clear, but it looks like our friend is now within view. Oh. We've got clarity back. So that area is the area where all the energy is. And now there's another area of energy there. Back into the blurred area. So back into the area with the energy again. And now it's become clear. Sort of. And then you look at this right in the middle here. So see how some things are crystal clear and then your next image can be a complete wash of blur. Very strange. Look at that. Look at that. How that's... And when you step right back, you, you see there's a face right in front of you, a big, large face right in front. Imagery here, here, here. So is this them, they've come so close, or their energy has come so close that the camera is completely blurred? But you look up to above left, what is happening there? And I'm looking at this area, imagery. That face morphs, there's a large face there and it morphs. I'm getting distortions to this, our friend is shiny and blue and distorting so just keep your eye on that area and this blurring here and when you start to look in the blurring you get big faint faces but some are large right in front of the screen some are way in the distance can't explain it folks So today's goodies, we have this raspberry licorice, and then we've got some cashew nuts, then we've got some walnuts, and beside them some chopped brazils, and then very specially, stolen. So I've sliced it up, and they can all have a bit, there's about 16 slices in there. So I've sliced it so that they can all have a piece. So that's our little array of goodies. And I'm going to say thank you to this particular structure for being my table. I did ask if I could put it on there in case it disrupted energy. Some peanut butter. And the incense sticks. Now I have not broken the seal on that. They will be able to get that off themselves. And have thanked the tree for being host. Now the children, I understand the children love the incense. They really love the smell of it. Now I've only been asked to bring these amount of apples 
They said, I had another six um, pink lady apples and they said, these are enough. These are enough for us. So these are gala apples. So there's three, six of those. And then stuffed, whoop, stuffed inside this tree, we have the raspberry licorice. And then I made a little table again. <laughs> Walnuts, cashew nuts, Brazil nuts, and some stolen cake, which I hope they love. Hope they enjoy it. It's quite sweet. Well, uh, in truth, these past few weeks have been very difficult. Um, I have been re reticent to come up because I know the, that the family needed space and time to sort out what they needed to do. Um, for them, probably the relocation is really easy because I'm sure they've got lots of backup plans. It's just a shame that that area of Moonwolf, which is the southwest area, has been so completely trashed. But here we are, and this is a new area we can use. It's actually very easy to locate for me. Um, and we will use this until further notice but there's quite a bit to explore around here as well so this is the area that is the north this is north moon moth and if you imagine it is fairly vast so there is lots to explore um, and I have had uh, assistance of Dacia Gea, Athenian and Abak um, which I'm very grateful for so thank you very much for watching and uh, have a fantastic time and we've left some goodies here for the family here and hope everybody stays safe, be good, be kind in word, thought and deed. Okay. Bye.